and let's give it up for Mr. Tom Petty, folks. Well, it's great to be here, and uh, we're very excited, obviously, about the show. You're going to be focusing on that, or have that in your, head, your mind, that huge audience out there worldwide, or will you be playing more to the stadium crowd, or just playing, you know, keeping track of what's going up uh, on stage and having fun with that? Well, a lot of it is, is just trying to remember the next chord, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, if... We play to the audience, and hopefully that'll take care of everything else. Do you guys ever go back and listen to your early stuff just for grins, or is this a band that when you record a song and get it on record, you're pretty much done with it? Well, usually by the time you've finished one, it's a little while before you listen to it again. I, I, I like to hear them on the radio. Uh, I always turn them up, the old ones, and listen to them, you know. But, you know, sometimes we do, but I not that often. I hear songs in Home Depot when I shop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the goofiest commercial request you ever turned down for one of your songs? And two, would you please give a shout out to 1037 FM, The Mountain in Seattle? Thank you. <laughs> well, I don't know. They're all pretty goofy. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't really even know how to answer that, but I will shout out to whatever it is. One, one, oh, <laughs> 1037, The Mountain. Hey. <laughs> and we had a real question over here to the right, I believe. <laughs> Tom, everybody knows that rock stars want to be athletes and vice versa. What is the athleticism in your family and favorite team, if any? Um, I was a very poor athlete. Uh, my, my brother was, was athletic, but, uh, you know, we don't, we don't really have a favorite team. It would be wrong of me to, to say right now, you know. But in the, in the college division, we favor the Gators. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, how awesome is it that you will be performing at the Super Bowl? How long? Uh, well, I understand that it's not like you have hours to, you know, Oh, the no, fans, there's, but... there's this football game that has to go on. <laughs> <laughs> but... When you were first approached about doing the Super Bowl, was it an automatic slam dunk, yes, we'll do it, or was there more debate amongst the band than that? I think it was pretty automatic. We we uh, thought it was a great opportunity to play to a lot of people, and and it's just a great event, really. It's a great you know American thing. And uh, as I remember it, we were pretty much down right away. I wonder, know how you guys feel about the cover bands out there? If that's even a big issue with you at all, and if it isn't a big issue, I would love it if uh, maybe he could hum a few bars of American Girl and you could critique him. <laughs> Do we get paid? Well, uh, first of all, no. <laughs> and uh, do uh, the only thing uh, about cover groups, you know, is uh, as long as they're not better than us, it's all right. Well, try, you know? <laughs> trust me, Tom. They're they're not quite there okay, yet. Then then we'll tolerate that. On the night of the New Hampshire primary, when Hillary Clinton spoke to the uh, to the press and the TVs, they played "American Girl" behind her. Um, was that something that uh, you were aware of? You were endorsed, and uh, have you chosen a presidential candidate? Mm, no, we weren't aware of it. Um, we've heard about it, uh, but we're not endorsing any candidates. You wouldn't want to take a guitar player's advice on something <laughs> like that. <laughs> hey, Tom. Uh, Man of John, Channel 3 News, you are still smoking hot, by the way. <laughs> well, bless your heart, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing for blondes. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, so first of all, you're going to get out to Arizona and, and see the state. Are, are the Heartbreakers, too, going to come out and see some parties, or are you just holed up in your hotel practicing? Well, we heard there's a Victoria's Secret party. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, sh can I show it to you? Can I take you around to it? Or? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm married. I'm harmless. You don't have to call security. I just think yeah, you're really Yeah, well, <laughs> you'd have to talk that over with my wife, wouldn't you? We'll bring her. <laughs> just curious about what your prediction for the Super Bowl is going to be, and then afterwards, if you could just say Gig 'em Aggies. Say what? what Gig 'em Aggies for Texas A&M. If you could say Gig -em that. Gig 'em Aggies? Yeah, yeah, okay. I said that. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't want to make a prediction on the game. You know, I'm. Uh, I'm for everybody. Tom, I, I've seen you in concert, Tom, where you talk about that the tour has no corporate sponsor, that the tour is brought to you by you, yeah. and you get this tremendous applause from, from the audience. And here you are, the Super Bowl, where it's kind of 
corporate big corporate orgy in America meets Tom Petty, who's fought mm -hmm. against this always. How, how do the two come? Well, when you play on TV, you have a sponsor, you know, that's just the way it works. And uh, we're, we just try to entertain the people and be sweet boys. How, how do you choose songs to play in a 12-minute span? Was it a tough decision or was it by committee? It's really hard. Um, I think they were taking odds in the LA Times today on... Uh, what we'd play, you know. Uh, we, we tried to pick the, um, the ones that, you know, would do the best 12-minute show that would give you some, uh, you know, take you somewhere in that amount of time. And it, it's, it's a little bit of uh, a challenge, and uh, we've had to um, kind of rearrange some things, make them a bit shorter to, to fit in. But uh, I think we've chosen a, a good set. Earlier this week, Bill Belichick, the New England coach, said he's going to be playing some of your CDs as he prepares for this game. I was wondering what your reaction is to that. Well, it's never kept anybody from winning. <laughs> <laughs>